I am Dr. Melissa Sankey, and I'm an associate professor of psychology. I have been at CI now, this is my sixth year, and I serve as one of the faculty major advisor for psychology students. So I want to start off by talking about how psychology is actually our most popular major at CI. So we have lots of students and I think that psychology is attractive to a range of students because it allows us to explore so many different topics and also prepares us for so many different careers that we can have. And so I think with psychology, right, we're all interested in understanding humans because we are humans and we have to interact with humans. And and so I think that's a real uh, draw for students. I also think that psychology offers career options that improve the well-being of others and allow us to give back to our community. And so when I speak with my students, often that's their motive for getting involved in a career in psychology is really feeling like they can make a difference in other people's lives. And so I think that that's why students are interested in psychology, why we would encourage you to think about psychology as a major. Um, in terms of classes and minors and options, our psychology major does include 11 core requirements. So we have three lower division core requirements and eight upper division requirements. And what this does for our students is it allows you all to explore all of the different sub-disciplines and different approaches to thinking about the field of psychology. And so through these courses, you can decide kind of what interests you, what is uh, maybe attractive in terms of topics or in terms of lenses that we're viewing human behavior through. And then you can explore some of those in more depth when you get up into your upper division major electives. We only have three lower division requirements. So if you're coming in as a freshman, you might kind of decide, maybe you're not sure about psychology. I would recommend taking Psychology 100, which is Introduction to Psychology. And that's gonna give you a nice overview of all of the different topics. You can kind of decide if psychology is for you. Um, if you have taken some of those lower division requirements at community college, maybe you took an intro class there, that will transfer over if you're a transfer student, and then you are on track to start all of your upper division coursework. So really, there's no specific background that you need to have. We would just recommend that you prioritize your intro to psychology course, your uh, biostatistics course, and your developmental psychology course, and that's going to set you up for all of the other courses courses in the major. So I'll start off by talking about research. So in addition to our two-part research methods courses that give students kind of an introduction to research, so those are required courses and you'll take them um, and with them you'll get a little bit of a taste of research. You'll do an independent project with a group of students, but in addition to that, your psychology faculty work on research and we work on mentoring students in independent research. So I wanna really encourage students to look for those psychology 494 and 497 courses that allow you to work more closely with psychology faculty on some research. Um, each lab works a little bit differently, but often you will gain kind of additional experience and skills on specific areas of research. So if you find that you're interested in something like cognitive research, or maybe you're interested in like psychophysiology, we have different opportunities to get some hands-on experience working on that kind of research. So psychology is a field that prepares you for just such a wide range of careers. So recently our psychology chair, Dr. Key Rose, kind of reached out to some of our alumni and also faculty who are in touch with their former students. And we got this long list of the kinds of occupations that they're doing. Um, so it's very exciting to see where their careers have taken them. So I'm gonna read a few of these different areas and kind of uh, jobs off of this list, but we have uh, some of our students who decide they'd like to go into academia. And so we do have students who are professors, even at CI, um, lecturers, uh, research specialists. And so those students have pursued a PhD in psychology in one of the many sub-disciplines that you can go into, and they've kind of come back to work uh, in, in academia. 
We also have students who are working in applied statistics and data science. A lot of our students are interested in clinical psychology. And so we have students who are psychologists and therapists. Um, they work in that kind of therapeutic setting. And there are a wide range of masters and PhD type degrees that can get you prepared for working directly with clients if that's your interest. We also have students in law enforcement, uh, lawyers. We have a lot that go into social work. Um, so they work as social workers, uh, industrial organizational psychologists. Um, we have a lot of students in healthcare working as nurses, occupational therapists, learning specialists, behavioral interventionists, youth development specialists. And then we also have students in education. I've sent some of my students to uh, school psychology and school counselor programs, and they really enjoy those. I also have a student working on her teaching credentials. So, so many different opportunities for your psychology degree. Um, and if any of those kind of careers sound interesting to you, check in with your major advisor and we can talk about how to work toward those opportunities. A lot of the careers that our students are interested in pursuing do require some graduate training. So a lot want to work directly with clients in a therapy setting. So our program is really focused on making sure that students are ready to go right to graduate school if that's what they decide they'd like to do. And we do that with those requirements that I mentioned earlier, those core requirements. We make sure that students have all of the courses that they will need if they're interested in going into a graduate program in psychology. So you won't find a situation where you're looking at the requirements for a program and you don't have a class you need.